What's going on YouTube? Clay Kizol back again with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video and in today's video I wanted to go over what doors are, how I'm going to be using my doors, how to obtain them, and then again which units and what stats you should be buffing and give you a general idea of how you should be using them. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so this past week they've uh, actually put something in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, new, entirely new, you need to go to the Vortex, scroll on down to the bottom, and it'll say limited time only, Chamber of Challenges. Uh, and when we go in here we can obtain a new item called Doors, and what these Doors are going to do is, they're going to raise the um, stat cap that you guys have for those stats when you're potting them. So uh, you're going to be able to increase your stats, your base stats, even more on all of your characters. Uh, and through this, you guys can get your, when your base stats are increased, you know, all those percentages, you know, attack 80%, attack 50%. That's all based on your base stats, spirit up, things like that. And so your characters get exponentially stronger with using these doors. And then the way you obtain them is you need to get uh, red star quartz, which is a new type of star quartz, and it's going to be from this event. Uh, and you can get a certain limited amount every week. If you beat intermediate, advanced, pro, elite, and legendary, you're going to obtain all of the red star quartz that you can get. And you can see here it resets weekly. So every week you guys need to make sure you're coming in here and defeating at least as much as you can do and really try to get down and uh, do, you know, do all the way up to legendary. And you can see that you need to use a certain element when you're fighting these bosses. So lightning attack challenge was this week, so Esther really liked it uh, and then after you end up beating all these bosses you take them down you get your red star quartz you're going to head over to theo's workshop and within theo's workshop this is where you guys are going to be able to go in and exchange your red star quartz at this uh vendor here and so you have a bunch of choices right you have the mini door pot or the uh, uh the mini tough pot or a door, excuse me, I want to say pot, but it's door, Clayic, uh, tough door, and, and you know, you can you can get whichever ones you want, obviously, and then, um, so for me, first off uh, and foremost, I am going to be focusing, focusing on my Sacred Shield Charlotte, I want her to be as strong as she can be, so what's the first stat I want to put on her? That's going to be Spirit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the Soul Door down here, and I'm going to go ahead and purchase, um, you know, a bunch of these. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to buy, I have 60, so I don't want to spend all of them. Uh, I'm going to go with just four for right now, right? I just want to test the waters. Let's get four and see if that's a little bit too much. Actually, let's go with three. Let's go with three. We're going to buy three of them. Uh, we're going to buy three door, and you guys can buy whatever you want, uh, whichever, you know, one you want to be increasing on a unit. Because, uh, you know, I do want to do spirit, defense, health on my tanks. So that's going to be great there. So then I'm going to head to uh, menu, uh, and I'm going to go to units. Uh, and once within the units, I'm going to head over to my CG Charlotte, which is right here. I'm going to go to Enhance. I'm going to click one of these buttons. And uh, before we do that, actually, I want to go ahead and look at my CG Charlotte. If we go here and we go, uh, let's long click on her. Uh, if the game will let me, there we go. Uh, details. And you can see that with her spirit, I have it maxed out 65 out of 65. So if I go back now and then I go and enhance her and I get these door pots in her, she's going to be able to now go even further beyond. I just have to go down and find the door pot real quick. Sorry about that, guys. I totally took me a minute to find where the door pots were. They're going to be, I guess they're underneath uh, doors are. They're not door pots, they're doors. Clay, come on, there's something new. Um, they're going to be below where the mag, uh, where my ma all my pots are, I guess. So that's where they're going to be. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, click on this one, click on this one. And then if I click OK you can see that it's raising up my spirit increase, right? So I'm able to put up my spirit now with pots all the way up to 80, and it can keep going up. You can keep adding that into there um, until you hit the max. So we're going to go ahead and hit fuse, go ahead and give her all of these different spirit uh, doors, and allow her to get even more powerful with these uh, status limit up. So now I can go again from 65 base all the way up to 80, which is going to be incredible. So let's check a look at our spirit right now. It's at 1,328. We're going to go see if we have any spirit pots. We may need to go. We do. Okay, so then we're going to go in here. We're going to uh, grab a couple of these. Go ahead and grab them up like this. Now I'll go up to 80 out of 80. Go ahead and fuse that in. And let's go to skip. And we can see that we got a hefty increase there, which is pretty good. Uh, you know, it's, it's nothing absolutely insane, but it's pretty good. And you want to be doing this every week because your units are going to get that much stronger. And it's a free-to-play way to obtain stronger units. Now... Um, which units should you really be focusing on first? That's really going to be up to you and which units you're struggling with. You know, where are you lacking? Are you lacking damage? You could put attack up on your attack units. Uh, but again, remember, uh, when you invest these, uh, star quartz, they're not, 
uh, a finite resource because they come every week, um, you do have to be pretty careful in the beginning of where you're going to be putting them. So for a uh, you know damage dealing unit, obviously you're going to put up attack or magic depending on what they want. And if you're going to be swapping out your attack or magic unit, you want to be a little bit more careful with um, how you're spinning them, right? So you don't want to put a bunch of attack pots into Estra and then next week you're going to start using uh, Elena or something like that, right? Uh, for tanks, of course, uh, for like Wilhelm, for example, I want to put up his defense and HP first. And uh, for magic tanks, it's going to be spirit and HP for them. Now, moving on to somebody a little bit more uh, tough, you know what I mean? A little bit more difficult to figure out what you want to put up on them. Maybe somebody like Myra. Well, a healer or a uh, support unit still wants the defense, spirit, and MP up, right? That Those are the stats they want to have increased because that lets them be more tanky, lets them survive, lets them cast their spells more. So, again, it's really going to be up to you on how you want to use these pots. Uh, for me, if I was going up uh, and I was going to be using it on Myra, I would probably go in the HP category, maybe in the beginning, uh, up her HP, maybe Spirit, maybe MP. I just really don't have problems with MP. Um, and then, you know, moving on to an attacker, MP is great as there as well, right? The more MP you have, the more spells, uh, or abilities, excuse me, that you can cast with these units. So, essentially, uh, you know, for anybody that's not an attacker, you know, attack and magic, uh, HP, MP, things like that, it's really going to come down to where do you see your unit faltering right like if your Myra is constantly running out of MP maybe give her a little bit more MP if she's getting hit and you think maybe a little bit more spirit or defense will help her do that with uh, effective HP that's great if you want to give her more HP go ahead that's going to be really up to you now again I am going to be focusing on my attackers last because I am just worried that I'm going to be switching off of uh, my attacker, you know, who knows when I'm going to need to switch up and maybe, you know, maybe it's okay to invest in Esther because uh, if I, there's ever a time when I really want to be using lightning damage, she's my go-to girl, I'm going to be using her. Um, but, you know, again, I think the ones you definitely can uh, invest in first and be confident about it are your tanks and your support units, strictly speaking, because they don't change out as often um, as your damage dealers would. So guys, what I went ahead and did was I went back to the uh, shop, I spent all of my red star quartz, and I got my uh, CG Charlotte almost maxed out she needs one more plus one so she needs one more little spirit door and i'm going to be able to get her completely maxed out you can see we went from 1328 all the way up to 1427 almost a it will be over a 100 uh spirit increase if i had more equipment on her than increase my spirit percentage uh, we would be good to go, but again, I'm focusing on elements with her, etc. Um, if you guys are wondering how how high can these go up, right? If you're wondering, you know, I want to min max, I don't want to buy too many pots in one section. The easy way to do it is to go ahead and look at the side number right here that you used to be able to buff up the pots with, and then take half of that, and that's how much the doors can increase it by. So, for example, and I think they round down. So, for example, half of 65 is going to be uh, 32.5, uh, but we can only do it to 32. That 0.5 is going to round down to 32, so I can increase it plus 32 this is the door uh, aspect and this is actually where it ends up being like this is actual stat increase here so if i get one more door on this it's going to be plus 32 and that's going to be the maximum uh for example if i wanted to put up her attack for whatever ever reason it would plus 20 over here so i i would need to get plus 20 worth of doors and then i can increase the attack up right here is going to be uh a 45 increase on the MP and then etc. So that is how you guys go in and make sure you're getting the most out of your doors. So you're not wasting. I mean, you can never really waste the doors, right? You could use them on another unit, but I know you guys like to min max and get the most out of your time and investment in the game. So that is something I really wanted to point out. Another thing I wanted to talk about was people seem to think that the door, they're not giving us enough Star Wars. I, I've, I've heard that from a lot of people. Oh, I wouldn't say a lot, but you know, it's been come, a, a question that's been brought to me a couple of times now. Like, do you think that number is too low? And, and for, for me, it, no, it's not. I mean, if you get it every week, you're getting them four times in a month. Uh, I One of the bigger ones right here, in my opinion, you know, I have to plus this up to 32. I did that almost in one week. So now my CG Charlotte is completely maxed out on Spirit. And that's the most important stat for her, one of the most important in one week okay next week i'm gonna be able to buy this little plus one here and then i'll move on to our defense maybe or no i'll probably move on to our hp you know increase our hp up uh by a substantial amount uh, and maybe the hp takes me a little bit longer and then you know i'll move on to defense and it's essentially in a couple of weeks to, to a month one unit is completely maxed out and you're good to go and that's why it's so important for you guys to be investing in stats that you will be keeping around for a long time, like units you'll be keeping around for a long time, right? And once you get through that, you know, in a month or two, three, however long it does take, as long as you're being very picky and very uh, maximizing your 
value on your doors, you'll eventually start acquiring doors. Like, you'll, you'll have units not to spend them on, right? I mean, obviously, you guys like to play around with the new global uh, changes. You know, it makes doors even more of a, uh, <laughs> a good resource to be using because we have to use different units in these new trials. But I think if, as long as you're smart with it um, and, and you invest in the correct stats, you're going to see a great increase into the power level of your units in a free-to-obtain way like I was talking about before, and it allow, it allow you guys to get maybe through some of these trials you couldn't uh, beforehand, which I think is great. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what doors uh, you are using and who you're using them on. I can't say door pots. I keep wanting to say door pots. That's wrong. And then uh, subscribe for future content. We'll catch you guys in the next video.